And the half marathon is sprinting to the front lines. Nearly 2 million people ran the 13.1 mile race last year, making it one of the fastest growing and most popular races out there. And women make up over 60% of the participants. Here to fill us in on the rise of the half marathon is WSJ's Rachel Bachman. Rachel, thanks so much for being with us. Great to be here. So the half marathon, how long has it been around and how fast has it been growing? Well, it's only been called the half marathon since about the early 1980s. Before that, there were races at the same distance, but they weren't called that. But it's really taken off since about 2000. It's quadrupled in size since then in terms of finishers. And what are some of the reasons it's become so popular? I think it's sort of the perfect sweet spot. You know, the marathon is very grueling and arduous. It takes months and months and months to train for typically. Um, the half marathon is, is a little bit shorter and easier to train for, but it's still an achievement. Yeah, I mean, it certainly is. 13 miles, nothing to sneeze at, right? Mm -hmm. And you're saying that women in particular are drawn to this race. Why is that? Yeah. Yes, I think one point is it's just less time. It's mm -hmm. less time consuming if you have a lot of things going on in your life, children to take care of, for instance. Uh, it's very attractive, but it's still an achievement to shoot for. It's a way to stay in shape. Very easy. You just run out the door and, and take and off. And it's going to knock not knock you out for two days afterwards. So many people run the marathon yes. and say they can't get out of bed for three days. Absolutely. Who has the time for that, too? Yes. So are they now sort of catering some of these races to women? Absolutely. The, the Divas series, for instance, which gives women like a feather boa and a rose <laughs> at the finish line. The Women's Half Marathon in San Francisco, held by Nike. Um, they have a Tiffany necklace at the finish line. So they're definitely catering to women. Lots of travel, um, girls groups, uh, sort of girls getaway week centered around the half marathon. It sounds like fun. It sounds like a party. Sign me up. It's a party with some yeah. exercise. So all sounds good. But are there some hardcore runners that still look down on the half marathon? I, I think there are. there are. It's not quite as arduous, obviously. Um, it's defined by being half of something else. And it's not in the Olympics. It's not an Olympic distance. So that takes away some of the sheen and the um, high-profile elite runners. They don't tend to run it. Maybe they should come up with a different name instead of the half marathon. Maybe it should be like the 13-mile magnificence or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Although some people say that's <laughs> part of the appeal, you know, it, it's yeah. defined by, you know, its association with the marathon, which is a very sexy di distance and, and race to claim. Right. And I'm sure fewer people get injured. Yes. After running one of these. Yes. Correct? If you if you um, train properly, then you're you're much less likely to have overuse injuries that are associated with the marathon, which of, of course is a lot more training. Sounds a lot good more to miles. me. Are you going to run one, Rachel? I, I have run one already, not oh, you recently, have. but I ran a two mile a couple weekends ago in the Bronx, and it was beautiful. It was fabulous. Yeah, yeah. I know. I'm almost, thinking about it. I can never do 13. a marathon, but this, you know, that might be within the range of possibilities. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rachel, for that.